Water flows through our planet like blood through our veins. In the ocean, down the river, from the sky as it rains. Where has it come from? Where will it go? Our faucets are but a fleeting moment in this ultimate journey. Round and around and around we go. Nearly all our water lives in our oceans swirling and whirling, waiting and carrying out its motions. As the sun rises in the sky, it drives the cyclical journey forward. Water evaporates and transforms from liquid to gas, floating into the air far above the dirt, trees, and grass. On top of the world, the temperature falls at elevation, persuading water to again adjust its configuration condensing into dreamy white bodies we call clouds, moving across the sky until hitting the earth below, water becomes nature's architect, carving new paths on a mission to reshape. Gravity drives its descent, sculpting the landscape. Sometimes flowing gently, deliberately and continuously, while other times streaming vigorously, relentlessly, endlessly. Whatever the adventure holds as water's story unfolds, it finally reaches our oceans, lakes, and seas to rest at ease in the gentle breeze. Through both populated and forgotten soils, this tireless but familiar rhythm toils. And with the turn of the knob, out it flows from a hose, wash your clothes, clean your toes. But where did it come from? Where will it go? Remember it's all connected and that things need protected. A wise thing to think about in a world getting hotter that's filled with 7 billion people who are composed mostly of water.